Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV. We're your coaches Andy and Pierce. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Today it's the Impact Show. Pierce, what do we have in store today for the viewers? Today we're talking about controlling trajectory with your pitch shots. Sounds good. Let's take charge of your game. So thanks for joining us here at the Impact Show on the 10th hole at the beautiful Asprey in Shropshire, England. And today, Pierce, we're talking all about controlling the trajectory on your pitch shots. Now, this is more of a, I'd say it's a little bit more of a specialised thing. It's yeah. a little bit harder to do, but it's great to have these options in your bag when you're faced with certain situations. Now, we've recently seen a study um, from Trackman, actually, two top tour pros on how they actually both control the trajectory on your pitch shots. And the results were quite interesting, weren't they? That the fact we've actually found that the angle of attack on a low, medium, and high pitch shot that was exactly the same, and how they controlled the trajectory was just by controlling the dynamic loft. Mm -hmm. So, just talk a little bit about dynamic loft, Pierce, and how that applies then, or how they did it in terms of with their technique. So, dynamic loft is the loft that's striking the golf ball, basically. So, the loft that's striking the golf ball, and what they're very good at these these tour pros are, as you say, attack angle stays virtually the same, but they control the dynamic loft by controlling the shaft lean. So obviously if I lean the shaft forward a lot like that, I'm going to get a lower dynamic loft. If I have the shaft up here like this, it's going to be a higher dynamic loft. So that is how they control the trajectory on their shots. Okay, and it's, it's interesting that the, I think they had a, they had a similar sort of distance, yeah. but just controlling the height. The angle of attack that they, they were hitting these shots was six degrees down, and they, they were still able to change. Now, you may be thinking, well, I've been told I need to hit down to play a low shot, yeah. okay, or, you know, hit up to play a, a high shot. Well. You know, this is just another way and another thing for you to experiment with. By controlling the dynamic loft, you can control the trajectory, isn't it? So we're going to hit Pierce, we're going to hit three shots. Three shots, yeah, we've got 35 yards and it's actually quite good because some people will go, why do I want to hit three different kinds of shots? Well, sometimes it depends on the position of the flag on the green. Here we've got a, a ledge that we go up. So actually on this one, we can actually hit all three. So we can get the first one, the low one going into the bank, the medium one going on top of the bank and then the high one flying all the way virtually to the hole. So. What we're going to do as well is make it very simple um, as far as the, the, the viewer is concerned. We want you to be, have something similar that you can take away straight away to the driving range or the practice area and work at this shot. So I'm going to position the golf ball in the middle of the stance for all of my shots. If I start moving my ball position around, my attack angle will probably change. So we're going to go ball in the middle of the stance. Now for the low shot, I'm going to get the shaft and I'm going to lean it forward so it's on the middle of my lead thigh. So I've got a narrow stance, so it may differ depending on the width of your stance, but you can see that the handle is on the middle of my lead thigh. Now, all I'm going to do throughout the shot on this, because I want to hit it low, is I'm going to retain that feeling of the shaft lent forward like this, the hands ahead of the club head, as I go back and then back into that impact. Getting back into that impact in a similar position, and the real key for controlling that trajectory from here is getting the club head and feeling as though it stays low. As soon as that club head goes up in the air, the trajectory will probably go up. Okay, so two changes really. So you're changing the setup slightly yeah. by leaning the shaft forward and then really feeling the shaft through the golf ball, almost maintaining that, that lean forward, which is going to keep the loft off. So let's play a shot here and let's see where we get them the low one for us. It goes into the bank, hops up, runs up, a little short, but that was very low, wasn't it? Perfect, and the finish you can see how he kept that club head very low, and you'd be pretty happy with that one. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so medium height. Medium height, again, ball position in the middle, but instead of having the handle forward, uh, sorry, on the middle of the left thigh, we're gonna have it on the inside of the left thigh. And then the feeling from here is, very much with the low one, it was a, there was a lagging going on almost, as though the club head was lagging behind the body and the hands. With this one, I wanna feel as though everything sort of moves together. So you'll see the club head will go a little bit higher on the way through, but the feeling is that very much everything moves together when I'm playing this shot. Okay, right, let's give it a shot. So let's see the difference on this one. There we go. Nice. And you can afford to land that a little further there as well. You can yep. see that there, because obviously, you know, we're getting a slightly higher flight. We need to land it further because it's going to stop a little bit quicker as well. Okay, third one. All right, the high one. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to get the handle. We're going to move it back over here into the middle of the legs. Ball position the same. Now the feeling with this one is, Andy, on the first one, the low one, it was the lagging. Yeah. The second one was everything working together. On the third one, I'm actually going to feel as though the club head actually goes past the hands as I'm striking the golf ball. The reality of whether I can do that sometimes is not always the, is not always the case, but the feeling is getting the club head passing the hands through the ball and then the club head finishing very high. So when you finish the shot, 
the Club 8 is very much pointing up to the sky. Creating that sort of wrist set on the way through yeah. really, which is going to change ultimately where you get back to an impact. And it's interesting on the first two shots, look at this. The low one, there's no turf gone. Hardly any, well, there's just a scraping of grass there. So again, maybe in the past people have been told ball back and hit down, that is a way. But this is a, a nice way of controlling the flight, but actually getting a nice shallow yeah. attack angle into the golf ball as well. The attack angle, if that's steep, you're going to get a divot done. Absolutely. Absolutely. See the high one then for us. The high one, here we go. All right, so the club head will release past the hands. It almost feels like a little bit of a flick when we do this. A little bit high and a little bit left, a little bit strong as well. So I think the good thing with this one is it tells you when you practice this yourself, you'll actually figure out which is the best one for you. All three of those shots could have played this situation very well. For me, the medium shot was perfect for that. We spoke about this before we started this video. The medium shot was the one that I would play if I was on the golf course. Maybe not the high one, but obviously you need to practice all three. Exactly, yeah. and I think, you know, as you mentioned, Pierce, Pierce is more comfortable hitting the shots where he feels everything is moving together. The wrists are very passive. So maybe a little practice on that last one for I you, think I think. So three great ways there of controlling pitch shots dynamic loft, shaft lean, make sure you get to the practice area and have a go at that and when you're faced with a certain situation you're going to have three good options to play that shot. Get control of that dynamic loft and it's definitely going to help you. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing here make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button as well to see more great videos like this every single week it is for free. Yes and if you struggle with that slice make sure you check out our four part video series turn your slice into a draw it's definitely going to help you get rid of that slice click in the corner right there I'll take you straight to it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.